Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Got a brand new iPad Pro 2024 and looking for the perfect screen protector for it? You may be curious about Zag's new XTR3. So Zag says this is gonna be 10 times stronger than your standard tempered glass screen protector. It's blue light blocking, it's antimicrobial, it's also gonna be anti-reflective. It comes with an easy apply tray, and of course this is gonna be covered by Zag's limited lifetime replacement warranty. In this review, we're gonna get this installed on my 11 inch 2020 24 iPad Pro and check out the results. Let's get started. Looking at the contents of the box, first off we've got the easy apply tray. So you're going to put your iPad in here and then put the screen protector over the top. This should make it very easy to get the screen protector on correctly and I think it's really great that this is made from 100% recycled plastic. And then we have a little envelope of installation tools. You got a dust removal sticker, you got a cleaning wipe, and you got a soft microfiber cloth. And then finally, you got the XTR3 screen protector itself. Note that we have a little bit of a blue cast to this because of the blue light blocking feature of the screen protector, but once installed on your iPad, this should not be visible. So before you start your screen protector installation, you're going to want to make sure that you're working in as clean, well-lit, and dust-free environment as possible and remove any screen protectors or cases that you might have on your iPad. Next, take a look at your installer. Note that we have a top and a bottom to it. The top is marked top, so you're going to want to make sure to put your iPad in there the right way around. And then take your iPad and lay it down inside the installer. Once it's in there, you can get it cleaned up. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with your Zag cleaning wipe and thoroughly clean your iPad screen. And then dry it off with your microfiber cloth. And then finally, go over it with a dust removal sticker to remove any remaining dust. Finally, you need to take the screen protector, make sure that your notch is gonna be up here at the top so it goes on the right way around. And then look here at your tabs. So the tabs on the sides are good for holding the screen protector so you don't touch the bottom side of the screen protector once the adhesive is exposed. And they are also good because that is what is going to position this correctly in the installer. So you got little holes here. These holes are gonna go over these little pegs. And then once those are in place, then you're going to be able to get a perfect alignment on here. But before you finally put this down, you need to expose the adhesive side of the screen protector. So you're going to do that by peeling off this bottom sheet. So don't do that until you're sure that your screen is beautiful and clean. You don't want to get any dust trapped. Although if you do just get a little bit of dust trapped, it shouldn't be visible due to the anti-dust adhesive that Zag uses. Finally, lift off the plastic top sheet to expose your screen protector. Then you can remove your iPad from the easy install tray and then press out any remaining bubbles. You might want to use the microfiber cloth for that. That can be helpful or just your fingertips. So looking at the results after having this on my iPad for about five days, I have to say I am really happy with it. I think everything looks great. So as you can see, we've got a really thin screen protector on here. Basically an edge to edge fit. The installer is very easy to use. I think it's extremely hard to screw up with the installer. There were bubbles at the end of my installation, but they came out very easily. It took maybe about a minute and a half to get them off. So I'm loving the fact we've got 30% recycled glass here. You've got that 10X impact protection. You've got that antimicrobial coating. And you also have that eye safe layer. So for blue light blocking, this should help against eye strain, etc. You have more blue light blocking with this version of the XTR screen protector than previous versions. That's not really something that's very easy to evaluate, but hopefully it's going to help protect my eyes in future. I think overall, this is just a really nice screen protector. It's very very case compatible, at least so far, as far as I can tell. So it's going to work great with the Zag Crystal Palace that I tried it with. That's a really nice case and very compatible with the screen protector. It also works great with the ESR cases that I've tried it with, the ESR Ascend keyboard case and the ESR Rebound 360 keyboard case, as well as the ESR Shift. So overall, I think very versatile. This has a great feeling underneath the fingertips, slippery smooth, so really nice oleophobic coating there 
there, not noticing any problem with fingerprints. And I do think that the anti-reflective coating on here gives you greater screen clarity as well as helps the colors be brighter and more vibrant. So the only downside that I see with this is that this is high priced. It's going to cost you $69.99 as an MSRP. However, the one upside of that is that you're going to be eligible for Zag's limited lifetime warranty. So if the screen protector breaks during the life of the product, you can get it replaced for a $9.99 shipping and handling fee. So that's always nice. You can buy this directly from Zag as well as from many other retailers. I'll put links below so you can find out more about it. Many thanks to the kind folks at Zag for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And do consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.